Merci. Um, I just want to show you one thing that, uh, that makes the M50 and really all Korg so good, is that it has multiple levels of sound and performance. Each program and, combi <laughs> Each program and combination has four levels of sound experience. So, for example, the sound. But the next level is controllers, being able to change the sound. <laughs> then we have the third level, arpeggiators, dual polyphonic arpeggiators. Then we have the fourth one, adding the drum track as well. Now, other keyboard companies don't remove those backing track sounds when you turn the arpeggiator off. So the other companies, when you turn the arpeggiator off, it sounds like this. It's totally unusable. But every single Korg sound is playable with the arpeggiator and drum track on or off. So. So the basic rule is this. Korg good, other companies bad. <laughs> Just remember that one thing. Merci, merci. All right. Oh, where are you going? What's that problem? Yes. Um, I don't have one of these on the on the stage either. This is an SP one seventy digital piano. And what it is, is it's a portable slab piano with great piano sound and feel at an incredible low price. And a new multi-layer stereo piano sound and a new lightweight natural hammer graded action key bed. Now, the, um, the key features, it has 10 sounds, 120 notes of polyphony and a nice clean, uncluttered top panel. But it only weighs 11.8 kilograms. 
Now, it's available in black, satin white, and now available in red with an optional matching stand. Use it for, it's great for the home, it's great for uh, piano students, uh, performers looking for a great sound, feel, and portability, teachers, teaching labs, schools, etc. Now, why is it better? The piano sound does not go immediately into the loop. It has nice, long samples for richer realism. Normally, pianos in this piano range sound like crap and feel like crap. But the SP-170 has the best sound, feel, and portability package in this price range. Okay, just going to do um, one, uh, one last thing for you here, and then uh, Brian Gabriel will come up and show you the amazing Vox stuff. The, um, this is one of my favorite things I've ever put together uh, before. What I'm going to show you is the... Um, the SV1, Stage Vintage uh, Piano. Now, what we did with the SV1 is we brought together all the classic keyboards that we've been using over the last several years. Fender Rhodes, uh, Wurlitzer, uh, Pianet, uh, Grand Pianos, Stand Up Pianos, uh, Oberheims, organs, Vox organs, Hammond organs, and brought it into an amazing, amazing keyboard. Now, so what I wanted to do to show this off was to put together kind of a medley of some of the songs that these instruments were used in over the last several years. So I put together a medley of uh, about 30 different songs. Don't worry, it doesn't take any longer than two hours. It's, okay, no, I'm kidding. Uh, it actually takes about six minutes. But what I like about this a lot is I figured out a way to actually have the sequence control the PowerPoint. So if you can get uh, your eyes on the PowerPoint, that's kind of part of the whole presentation. And uh, so what I have is I'm using uh, Cubase to actually run everything here. So one track has, uh, the, is the track that's controlling the, uh, the, the PowerPoint. And the other track is doing all the program changes, changing to the right sounds for the SV1. And then um, the, uh, the third track is an audio track of, uh, of the backing tracks that I put together using uh, the, the amazing Korg Oasis. And uh, so that's just an audio track. So I'll be playing the, uh, the kind of the main keyboard parts on top of that and taking to you down uh, memory lane like this.
till you use me up See where you gonna go Girl, where you gonna hide Thank you very much. Thank you. Hey, Mitchell. Merci, merci. Dobre, Steve Bash super, nali? Bash super. Trebat ni 5 minutki malko da raščistim i produžujeme sa Vox. Možete pozit